we have got a brand new Lego game in. It is Lego DC Super Villains. It came out today, and uh, Warner Brothers sent me a code for us to play it together. How does that sound? This is uh, you as a bad guy. First time that they've ever done anything like this at TT Games, where you get to be a bad guy. Um, hopefully the audio is going to be okay. I'm going to put my headphones on and we are going to jump in. Remember, uh, Blake is going to join me here in a second. And send us your comments, your questions, and uh, let us know uh, what you thought of uh, the content in the show, what you think of the game, or ask us anything you want. Here we go. New game. Um, if you're already familiar with LEGO games, there we go. Master Villain. Yes. I'm playing it on the Xbox One S. Okay. Do you guys watch more horror movies during this time of year? Do you make it a big deal to do that? Seems pretty good. There's music in here. But it's in the cutscene, I don't know. Let us know how the audio is, guys. Hi everyone. Talk about your right side of the tracks. But even this place is Vic, what is this Joker thing that, that I always put here? I think it was like a Funko Pop exclusive somewhere. But it's like Joker as the Batman? Yeah. But is he like, is that from a comic where he becomes Batman or something? Uh, I think they've done sort of Elseworld type deals like that. I think maybe in the 60s they even had a, uh, a crazy Batman. That's cool. Hell no, hate horror movies. <laughs> uh, what kind of matching plaid costumes will you don for us uh, on the Halloween stream? <laughs> when, neither of us plaid are man plaid. and Na yeah, no plaid us, today, yes. We don't always wear plaid, you no. guys. Come on now. Plaid man and his sidekick. What would, uh, am I, am I, I'm your ward. Yeah, you're my, my ward. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't right. watched uh, Titans yet, have you? No, I have not. Yes, you it, haven't, yeah. Is it out? it's not out in Canada no, yet. No, I'm a little out of my league with this. Okay, so first thing you do is you create your own custom character. So I'm going to spend a couple of minutes doing that. Um, and you choose from some presets if you want. Oh, did we give a shout out to Metro Gaming? He gave us a super chat. Oh, yes. What's your opinion on the new Doctor Who? I have not seen it yet. I've you, seen you it. You watched I, it. I enjoyed it. I'm not a big Doctor Who guy. Yep. Uh, my sister and my significant other are both uh, big Doctor Who fans, so I tend to know a lot about it through osmosis. Yep. Uh, so I watched it. I mean, I my initial impressions are I like her as a Doctor Who. Um, some of the other Doctor Whos have felt kind of aloof to me, kind of like they're kind of dicks. Yeah. But she's kind of like, Approachable, okay. like you, she's like you'd want to go on an adventure with her, if you were one of the characters in the show. So I thought that was kind of cool. Whereas the other Doctor Who's, I've been like, if I met this person on the street, I would be like, nah, I don't want to have anything to do with you. <laughs> so the fact that she's cool and it's like, yeah, let's go save the universe together, you know, it makes it more interesting to me. Wait a second. Okay, I want to do this and I want to modify the color. So I'm putting my hairstyle on right now. I won't, I'll try not to spend too much time on this stuff, but I gotta. Okay. Uh, Bradley Groot has a good question for us. Hey Vic, do you think we'll ever get a oh. good Sasquatch horror movie? Uh, Sasquatch horror movie. There's always Sasquatch sightings like just on the other side of the water here in Vancouver. I think that that sounds like a pretty damn good idea. But uh, baby Bradley Groot, um, you haven't seen Suburban Sasquatch, I take it? Uh, if you haven't seen Suburban Sasquatch, Google it and watch it because it's amazing. It's a funny bad movie that I enjoy. Okay. Uh, okay, right arm. Okay, so you can choose your different arms. Let's choose the outfit here. This guy you're making kind of reminds me of um, what's the bad guy from the first Incredibles movie? Oh, yeah. Because he's kind of ginger like that, right? Yes. With the hair up? Yeah. That's what that's reminding me of. Okay. Also, his, his orange jumpsuit, it looks like the guy in the first Unbreakable movie. Right. I'm changing his body now, though. How do you change the body? Well, he's I'm going to change guy. the... Uh, well, he's a Lego body, but I'm going to change the paint right now. So oh, okay. let's see. Let's put, let's, let's put this thing on there. Let's see what that... No, not that. Let's put... Uh, there we go. No, that's not cool. 
I mean, there have been good horror movies about like okay. monsters in the woods, which is what Sasquatch is, right? The ritual is kind of a Sasquatchy type thing, insofar as it's a thing that lives in the woods. Well, this is actually kind of deep. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Try to make the ugliest villain you can. <laughs> That's that, It seems pretty easy for me to be able to do that right now. Purple uh, and green, there we go. I, I, I like that. That's cool. All right, purple and green. Uh, oh, there's preset bodies. Oh, that's where I was. Okay. Body pieces. Okay, we're good. I'm going to change his pants. Oh, Steven Silva. Vic, have you seen the um, the this new Sega classic console thing? It's called the Mega SG. No. I saw it, like, right before we did the rundown. Okay. So I didn't have time to put it in. What is it? It's like a new uh, retro um, Sega console. Is it a official? No, well, it's, I think it's, it must be licensed. Sega didn't make it. Okay. But you know how all the other Sega ones have been kind of crap? This yeah. one is supposed to be really good. Oh, cool. So I haven't really looked into it yet, but we'll uh, we'll probably discuss it in a coming episode. Sweet. Does it play more than G the Genesis? Does it do uh, other ones? I think it's, it plays Mega Drive slash Genesis and Master System games. Okay, cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's effects and stuff that you can do. Emulated. Okay, okay let's see what... Uh, Taz is asking, will you be in, on be in Ontario when Red Dead Redemption 2 goes live? Yes. Yes, I will. I'm trying to see how I'm going to balance my life to be able to do that. You know, if it were on the Switch, you could play it on... In I know, I know. Uh, hit, impact, jump, slam effects. Yes, definitely want those. Wow, this is... There's a lot in this. Holy crap. I did a little bit of... That's great. I did you a get little... You to customize your, your abilities, too? Yeah. It's pretty cool. I did a little of uh, the modifications and the customization at uh, Comic-Con, or at E3, but um, I didn't go too in-depth on it, so here's my right-hand glow. Oh, remember how we were talking about food at E3 booths? Yeah. So when you were playing this game, they didn't have any food in the booth for me to eat. <laughs> I remember all they had, this is true, all they had were mints, because they, like, they had this game and Hitman, like next to each other. Oh yeah, and right. They had like Hitman branded mints. Right. That's that's the reason. game you play when I'm. So playing that's all the I games. remember because yes. I'm sitting there waiting for you. And I'm like, I wish I could get a sandwich or something. And they just had mints. Okay. Like, oh, what is the this? abilities are locked. Okay. So my skills. What is this? Grapple. Sure. Wow. Rope type. This is insane. How much of this actually affects the gameplay, though? I well, wonder. it's all aesthetic stuff, but I mean, they had. Uh, they clearly had to do a lot of testing <laughs> to make sure everything works. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh no, the red ropes are crashing the game at this story checkpoint. Yes. <laughs> we gotta change those orange pants. Those are too garish, so let's do that. Where are my pants? What is this, personality? Okay, let's see. Uh, Tyler Fisher, question. Vic, have you continued to enjoy Assassin's Creed Odyssey? I love it more than I thought I would. Hashtag Sandra rules. It's fantastic, Cassandra. Uh, Did I it's, say Cassandra? It's it's it's. it's I heard Sandra. It's fantastic, but I I, uh, I moved on to um, uh, to uh, Starlink and then, and then to Call Black of Ops. Duty. And now yeah. you're moving on to this. Yeah, it's that time of year, man. It's like boom. Okay, I saw that. Okay, go do this. It's go that ahead. it's that time of year where you have to finish everything before Red Dead Redemption Two comes out. Yeah, it happens every year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I am waiting for that magical code to arrive here. Okay, uh, what is this, weapons? Sure, let's see what kind of weapons we have. Wow, this is incredible. Swords for 5,000, Alex. Let's take this sword here, it's like a bat sword. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna put that a different color though. Your sword looks like a wing. Yeah, it's all good. Let's make it uh, sort of rusty red, there we go. All right, look at my guy. Can you change, uh, Miryoku7 is asking, can you change your skin tone as well? You must be able to. I think so. I, I doubt you could change everything except the skin tone. But, you know. Where are my Where are my legs? If they let you customize the color of your rope. There we are. <laughs> legs. Cool. We're gonna do now that. I wonder what you can unlock. That's cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to this. This is my what is this? My body. There's, 
Oh, decals that you can unlock later on. Okay, boom. So we're going to do that. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Now you really look like the guy from... Uh, look uh, at that. Uh, my arms, I'm going to do... No. Okay, we're starting to see something here. Oh, let's do black arms. There we go. Oh, those are Alfred arms. Detect a Bullock. Parademon arms. Do it. I guess that's what I had, yeah. Okay, we're good. This, look, this looks like a super villain to a degree, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, basic info. <laughs> wow. Um... Are you coming up with your name? Yeah. What should I be? Um, skull fucker. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be that. Uh, the rot, I'll call myself. How's that? Well, you don't want your kid playing the game? No. As, uh... You know, Tommy used to do that all the time. <laughs> and I didn't have a kid then, but it, 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 he'd do that. And then my, uh, my nieces or nephews would show up and want to play on my GameCube. And we'd play. Uh... Didn't you guys do that? Like, didn't you use it in the footage once, too? Uh, yeah, I'm sure we did. I think that happened. I remember yes. hearing from somebody who worked before my time. That you were capturing gameplay and your character's name was something offensive. Oh, it was terrible, was on yeah. On screen in the footage. Skull once. violator. Yeah. Omid Tyan, how you doing? How's everybody doing there? Metric Gaming, thank you so much for your support. Tyler Fisher, answer 37 times. I don't know what that's in relation to. Uh, happy console gamer. I <laughs> I checked in with Mark. I will let you know, John. I know you're you're wanting to know if that it's at, if that's happening or not. I have no idea yet. What movie? Halloween. I think so. Yeah. So stand by, it's coming. Doing a show here, buddy. Where are you? Here's Johnny. Is this uh, Commissioner Gordon? Yep. Okay, we're gonna skip. Yes. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. But we're gonna do it because this. again. Those nice character models. Oh, they're super cool. Okay, so here's my character. We're breaking out of prison. So you're going to have to beat up Batman in this, Vic. Uh, not right away, because the Justice League is nowhere to be well, found right now. Eventually, you will. Yeah. It's okay. I'm all right with this. I just I love the fact that I uh, <laughs> I have my own abilities. And I think I can customize them any time. I think I can give them super speed. controls are located on the upper level. Let's find a way to get to them, shall we? I think the last game, Lego game, that I really enjoyed was uh, Lego City Undercover. Oh, that was fantastic. The Lego Incredibles game really impressed me, too. I was very surprised at how how solid it was. I was kind of meh on it. Did you play it? Yeah, I played Well, I, didn't, I played it at... Uh, we had a demo of it, remember? Yep. I played it for, like... Because I, mean, I was waiting for you, and I played it for, like, 20 minutes while I was waiting for you. Comic book services in Canada. Sign up for that Marvel Unlimited. It's 100 bucks a year, and... There's about 50,000 comics for you to uh, peruse from the Marvel Library. A lot of classic stuff, uh, but some stuff that's like maybe eight months old or something like that, which is pretty rad. Okay, so I have a Y. Who is okay. this Who is this scantily clad oh, okay. uh, police officer lady? I can uh, be this person. Who is she? Uh, she's a undercover guard. I think she might be Harlequin. Oh. We'll find out. It kind of trains you with the, the little info down below. So what I'm doing right now is I'm freeing some of the other villains that are in this prison right here. So now I'm Luther. And the rot. Now I'm the rot. <laughs> I'm just waiting for them to announce the rot solo movie. <laughs> Jared Leto is going to play The Rot. The Rot. Yes. The Rot solo movie starring Daniel Day-Lewis. <laughs> He's out of retirement. <laughs> I mean, the way the, the, the rate things from, are changing. What was the bad guy from Incredibles again? What was his name? Uh, Start with the I want to say I Megamind, but that's not No, it. no, no. That was the bad guy in yeah, Megamind. Yeah. What? Something Mind. Uh, oh, doesn't it start with an S? Sinestro? No, that's that's what I keep wanting to say, but that's Green Lantern. But I'm going to Google it. And someone will tell me in the chat before I find it. Yeah. 
Jason Lee played him. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I can hear his voice, but I can't. Uh... That's great. It's all the Incredibles 1 stuff that they added into Lego Incredibles that really makes that game shine. Syndrome. Syndrome, yeah. In Incrediboy and then in Syndrome. Right. Yeah, he was great. Boom. Okay, so he, you got to break it to bust it, or break it to build it, um, and what are we trying to do? Bubble Buster has an interesting comment. What's that? Today, Netflix, is, Netflix announced that they brought in 6.96 .6 million new streamers, beating analysis expectations. Wow. They also bought a big studio in Albuquerque. Did like they? A, like a $30 million huge studio with a couple different uh, uh, stages. Mm -hmm. They just bought in Albuquerque. So they're probably going to start, you know, producing even more original content, which is interesting. They have to. And Albuquerque probably gave them a bunch of tax, or yeah, the New Mexico for sure. government. Gave yeah, them I, I was honestly curious about that. Like, Netflix has got to be, their their business plan has got to be like, we've got to get into theme parks and licensing like crazy. <laughs> like, they, they're they so big, they have to be thinking about what they yeah. do, you know? Yeah. with. Uh, they're, they're a big studio now. It's kind of, it's really impressive when you think about it. Like, Netflix basically didn't exist 10 years ago. Yeah. Or they were like a mail-in thing. Yep. It's just so weird to think like a massive new movie studio has just dropped into the film and television yep. industry. Yep. Like a huge studio with their own distribution and now their own completely changed lots everything. And, right? And yeah, just just in the middle of an existing yeah. industry. Totally. Like when was the last time that happened? Right. iPhone. I mean, there is no, but they're not. Apple was around though. They're as disruptive as any technology. Yeah, I'm thinking in like the film. In the last like when, when was the last sure. time a new film studio started? Well, it's not just like a film ago. studio. It's a uh, yeah. It's a like a whole distribution yeah. mechanism. It's yeah. all tied together. You know, thanks to the internet, they have completely ratified everything. Like everybody yeah, the, has the to keep up time, with Netflix now. The last time a big like entity was formed like that was probably Microsoft and Apple. That's why it's a little big. disappointing when you see some of their movies and they're just okay or they're not good, like Iron Fist or whatever. Like it's, they're too big to half-ass it now. You know, like they have all of us there, and they're going to get threatened by all kinds of other players. It's time for them to really own their their sort of space. You know, like there's. Well, I think you, the quality bar just needs to be really th high. Their business model right now, Vic, is to take all this money, to be an that, aggregator. all this investor money that they're getting, yeah. and just buy as much content, content, content. Yeah. Because they need to have, they need to build a huge library so that when all, Disney and all the other studios pull their content out of Netflix, they yeah. don't have a giant hole. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I'm very curious to see what the uh, Mark Miller stuff is going to be. Yeah. It's kind of shocking to me that you can't get that comic digitally that they published. Yeah. Like what? Like your Netflix? Why is it? Why can I not stream it off of Netflix? <laughs> well, they they need to they need to diversify as well. They need to be in as many different markets as as they possibly can too. I don't know what I'm doing. This this is one of the things with uh, Lego games. You kind of have to pay attention to their intricate little world, or you get lost. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. You're a schemer trying to control your little world. All right. Let's see. What's this? Okay. I so see, I see a picture on the wall there. Is okay. that uh, relevant? Uh, where? Uh, over where you're, the other guy was standing, where your dude, where the rot is standing. I, I think that picture is the character icon. No, no, go, go, go into, the, like, go back up there. Okay. Go back up to the balcony. Okay. There's like a picture of like Nightwing or something. Oh wow, oh, really? Yeah, go okay. over to, yeah, go that way. Keep going. Yeah, in there. Okay. And then like up against the wall, there's like a picture of where you're standing right now. Yeah. There's like a see there. Oh yeah. What is that about? No idea. I need to. My training included pretty much everything except you have to get. Oh, let me change my. Uh, this is. Uh, I don't like that you have to start the. Uh, the game before you can change the access. Uh, invert photo. Yes. Invert camera. Yes. Invert. Yes. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Oh, and I probably didn't activate it. Not good. I don't like that. I just like to go right back to the game. Here we go. Invert controller. On, on, on. Okay, I did. Okay, good. Here we go. So I need Lex Luthor up there. 
Is that Lex Luthor in the green and yes, purple? Yes, but I don't know how to get... He doesn't fly, he just sort of hovers. Can, can't you go on that, that air vent thing and have that blow you oh, up? Oh yeah, there? that's right, that blows me up. There we go. Thank you. You're paying attention. All right. Uh, he has got... There we go. B. Yay, we did it. Yay, we're not dumb. Teamwork. Okay. They have, like, Charlie Brown uh, people talking over the loudspeakers. <laughs> Why hasn't there been a Lego Charlie Brown? I don't know. That would be good, too. Lego James Bond has to happen. Yeah. That's coming. That's coming. War Warner Brothers is distributing. I, I was bugging those TT games people. War Warner Brothers. That New York Comic Con. They're distributing the new movie. They're definitely going to make I, a Lego game. The guy that I was talking to had some pretty good reasons why they wouldn't do it. We're not going to hear about it until the movie's the new movie's closer. To I mean, out, yes. So. Remember when Arthur Parsons? I asked him explicitly if they're working on this, you know Lego Force Awakens, and he said, "Oh yeah, nothing to talk about right now." And a week later, announced. Yeah. Well, and my prediction is that it'll be. A collection of missions from all the movies mm -hmm. and then ending with whatever the new movie is you know we didn't talk about the new James Bond what new James Bond um, his name is uh, Richard he's from he's from Game of Thrones what are you talking about there's a, a rumor a pretty solid rumor that, no it's uh, gonna be Daniel Craig Vic no, it's Daniel Craig's gonna be in the. This is the last one. Yeah. And then it's Richard something. He's a, he was in Game of Thrones. He, okay. he died. He was one of the characters that died. Richard something. But Scottish yeah, actor. But that means they're not gonna hire a new James Bond for another two years at least. Yeah. Which so I, I mean that could change. It could change. Yes. His name's Richard something. Yeah. He's a Scottish guy. Okay. Cool. So we gotta target some stuff. Boom. Richard Madden? Yeah. Who is this person? He doesn't have a huge... Oh, okay, I know this guy. Yeah, okay. he's got a weird face. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom half we of are, his face is We are like... alive. One day we're going to have Richard Madden on our show. Don't say he's got a weird face. He looks good with a beard, but clean-shaven, he looks kind of odd. Okay, come so on. So that doesn't work for Bond. Oh, yeah, come Bond on. has to be clean-shaven. Listen, you sound like all those those uh, Just deniers that said that uh, that um, Daniel Craig I, I didn't, could be fit wrong. Their, didn't fit their yeah, bill. I want know? a black James Bond, for real. Like, there's enough black... British and Scottish men for sure make it a black guy yeah that'd be great just make it a good actor make it somebody like honestly Daniel Craig is awesome as the as the character so it has to be yeah. as, that's as the good most as important that. thing if he's a good actor yeah. but the, James Bond is the personification of the British Empire yes and there's enough black not there's enough non-white British people now so you can have a, a non-white James Bond for sure there's no reason you can't if you're making a James Bond movie set in the 60s, then yeah, he has to be white. But if it's set in the present day, that's not the case. That's honestly what I would like as a 50s or 60s set James Bond. But that would add a tremendous amount of money to the budget. Okay. Question, do you still own a joystick to play old school X-Wing games on the PC? I do. <laughs> that's I a very specific question. I have, I never play those games though. I mean, the truth be told is that I don't have time to, to go back to them, but do I do them, have controllers that would fit the bill for that for do sure. Do any of them even run still those old games? Uh, and yeah, would they work with old controllers so. or would you have to get some kind of modern? Well, sometimes there's some bugginess that happens, but yeah, they work. But if okay, they so update... You get a chance to play as all the all of the bad guys. Who's this guy? Is, which is cool. It's Solomon Grundy and this is Cheetah, uh, who Kristen cool. Wiig is going to be playing in uh, the new Wonder Woman movie. Oh my god, really? Yep. Oh, that's cool. So they made... She was never that prominent of a character though, right? In the Wonder Cheetah? Woman universe she is. Is yeah. she? Okay. Yeah. Because I bet you they probably made... And here's Grundy. Like, I would, could see them making her a bigger character in this to try to, like, what am I prop doing? her up oh, as okay. a character before the movie comes out. Okay, so... Yeah, for sure. Uh, question, Vic. Please watch the season premieres of Arrow, Flash, Supergirl, etc. and give us your take on the end, at the end of the week. Okay. We plan to watch them soon. Uh, I definitely do. So Taz is saying in regards to my question about old games, you can buy all of those games on GOG and Steam. Yeah, I know, I know most of them are there, but what I'm wondering is, 
Do they run okay? But do, but if you so I'm playing an old like X Wing versus Tie Fighter on a modern Windows 10 PC. I can't just plug in my old MS DOS joystick from 1992 into my modern Windows 10 machine. Uh, can I? There there is if some get, there is some amazing converters and like the architecture is all based on that. Like they just kept it's like a really interesting scaffolding that they've used to keep building on Windows. So. Sometimes you can have processors and stuff that speed up the the game so that okay. they're, they're they're hard to kind of play. Um, can you? But, but a lot the, of them will, will go. Okay, so would, second, would the game second. because it's been modernized for Windows 10? Would the game then work with my old controller, or would it uh, want something more modern? I, I'll tell like you, Microsoft has made a bunch of them themselves. They they used to make controllers all the time, so I would hazard a guess that those would still work through old USB protocols. Taz is saying, my joystick is a USB connector. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I would just, to make things simple, I would just buy like a more modern joystick, you know? But you're you're just so sensible. Yeah. Well, to make <laughs> things really simple, I would just not be a PC gamer, because it's, <laughs> it's complicated and frustrating. Uh, but also incredibly awesome if you have the rig for it, too. Yeah. If you want to spend time on it, which I don't. I've even been impressed with uh, Steam on the Mac and played some pretty cool games when I've been on the road on my uh, MacBook Pro over yeah, the years. Yeah, I played, uh, I replayed Half-Life 2 on uh, on my Mac on Steam. That's cool. Okay, so which way now? Simple little puzzles like this. Let's see. Uh, Brock Hickman, do you think it was smart to release the Spider-Man PS4 DLC on the same day as Red Dead 2? No, it comes out three days before. Like, because the Spider-Man DLC is 23rd and then Red Dead is 26th. So you got three days to play your Spider-Man. You know, we didn't talk about this in the rundown today. We didn't talk about Richard Madden and we didn't talk about um, um, the Red Dead 2 blowback coming off of Dan Hauser's admission that uh, developers were working 100 hour weeks. There's a lot of angry game makers out there. Yeah, we discussed it yesterday. Yeah, uh, well, touched on it. yeah, but it's like really it's it's like all over the industry right now and people are really pissed off about it because there are developers out there and this was one of the uh, the comments that I read um, that think it's no big deal to work a hundred hours a week um, and they they are ready to do it and it's um, one of the I think most you know um, on the nose comments that I saw was like you're normalizing that kind of attitude you know, yeah. and so you're making it seem like that's the way that every game should be made. Yeah. If you just say, "Yep, I'll work 100 hours a week, no yeah. matter what it takes," and so I mean, I think there's some justifiably annoyed uh, game makers out there because that that is 100 hours a week is like life ruining. Yeah. You know, it should not be an expected thing. Like no. we we had we've had crunch times. Like I remember when we were doing. Now, in, the, in the final week on Metal Gear Solid 4 yeah. on the dock, yeah. we were literally sleeping at the office. Yeah. So we were probably working 100 hours a week. But it's not, that was like crunch time and very rare. Yes. And that's something that. That was also because of time yeah. uh, differences. And a lot stuff. of shit hit the fan, and it's like, yeah, as, a, as an emergency thing, yeah. I, th I think. It should never like, be expected. I'd be to, it should never be expected. It should be an emergency thing, and you should obviously be getting paid for it. Yep. I'm assuming all these guys are rock star and girls are rock star are getting paid overtime. I don't think so. Yeah, see that that's that's stealing. Yeah. If they're if you're working them 100 hours a week and not paying them overtime yeah. or not paying them for their hours, that's, that's uh, well. I mean, thing. the first Red Dead. Remember the fallout from that game? Yeah, they had the a big problem. Yeah, with, they yeah. had they had. Uh, I think some California labor laws sort of took into effect yeah. during that. So. I think there's going to be some really big fallout, no pun intended, uh, from this interview, you know. And one of the, the main ones is I doubt we'll ever see a, a rock star employee get interviewed ever again. <laughs> 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 I think that that is it for rock star uh, interviews. So good job, Harold Goldberg. You got a good story, but uh, that's it. It's over. And you know, people have been saying the video game industry needs to get unionized I, i'm thinking of movies and movies will have crunch time too where they work 100 hours a week yeah but they're getting paid yeah because they have a union yep. or a guild that's it's just not healthy like that's your your brain is just not yeah. functioning yeah 
I've had contract gigs where I've worked 20 hours straight, yeah. and by the end, your brain is mush. Yeah, of course. Like, I've had, it, it's like being drunk almost at the end. Like, I've had, I've worked Ooh. 20 hours and not been able to drive home. Yeah, that's because crazy. Because my brain is just fried. But I got paid a lot of overtime, so. It's just like Professor Ivo's amazing yeah. project. Let's see if we can put these new abilities. Yeah, it took us a long time with uh, with EP to kind of figure out a balance with all the uh, amount of work that we had to do. Yeah. Once we went daily, though, we had a pretty good workflow. Yeah. Of, like, yeah, we figured stuff out, we and we kept getting better and better. And say, work. even with us this year, when we we launched EP Live, it was like you know, it was a lot of things to kind of grow. It still is, but it was it seemed you get insurmountable. The hang of it, yeah. Actually, yeah. Okay, so I have um, some beam rays. What is that? Oh, I can continue customizing. Uh, okay, no. So I want to... Uh, I've got a... Okay. So this is one of my first powers. You spend a lot of time in this mode adjusting your character. The rot has got beam powers. Okay, new ability unlocked. Continue story. Okay, cool. So I gotta take out these guys. All right. Uh, Jordan Cunningham's uh, clarifying things about Doctor Who. Yeah. Saying how they, some, they sometimes have different personalities. Yeah, and I know it's like, it's not just an acting thing, it's a writing thing as well. Because they're totally different characters, right? Yeah, it feels totally like they people. went out of their way, the writers, to make this Doctor Who more likable, which I appreciate. If they're gonna be the headliner of your show, then you should like them. Okay. Adrian Leon, question, Vic, are you going to watch and review season two of the new Castlevania show? Yeah, absolutely. Comes I'll try to do that October, with Johnny. Comes out October 26th, so Thank, you can Thanks watch for the heads up. When you're not playing Red Dead Redemption <laughs> 2 in Ontario, <laughs> you can watch that on the plane. I, you know what I'll probably do is I'll, um, most of those shows are downloadable to um, your iPad when you're... Uh, on Netflix, yeah. Yeah, and I've been doing that. It's great. And you can sit there yeah. on the airplane watching it with yeah. a little kid next to you yeah. who's watching this horribly gory <laughs> show on your on your giant I, iPad. I, I'm pretty good at, at, at blocking that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I felt weird on an airplane. What was I watching? And there was like a sex scene in it. Oh, oh yeah. it was the Big Lebowski. Oh, right. I was watching that and there was like, you know, shirtless women and stuff in that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, shit, is there a little kid near me? <laughs> Can I pull this off? Am I strong enough to? Oh no, I gotta go to there. Okay. Okay, so these are my characters. All right, so come on over here, Solomon Grundy, and yank that off. There you go. Bonk. Uh, game Freak 84 is asking a question. Have you heard of uh, this new Super Nintendo game from Devolver Digital called Fork Parker's Crunk Out? I have heard of it, and I know that they actually made a cartridge. Um, but uh, I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna review it. <laughs> well, they, it they must. I, be I'm, planning I'm to getting bugged, it. actually. Not bugged. I'm getting um, requested by uh, some indie uh, game devs right now to look at their stuff, and I feel bad. I mean, it's just like it, this is AAA time, you know? It's like it's so hard to pay attention to all the stuff that's happening because there's still lots of cool little indie things that are coming out. I just read that Moonlighter's coming to the Switch on uh, November 5th. Um, which was one of my favorite games of 2018 so far. Um, but it's just hard to keep up with all that stuff when the big games come out. It just gets too nutso. Okay, so... Um, who do I want there? Can I... Can, can the rot deal with this or not? Okay, no, cannot. It's probably Luther can, though. Here, here you go. How does your character feel as, in terms of balance with the other ones? Uh, I mean, we're not there yet. I've got one power. I'm gonna put super speed on this character because I always like super speed as part of the character, part of the uh, the stuff. Oh, it's like one of those puzzles. But we're not there yet. I think what happens is you unlock, you meet up with characters, and you unlock their abilities. Okay, so tap. Okay, select. Okay, got you. There we go. There we go. Okay, boom. So what are you doing right now? I'm just trying to unlock oh, this door doing. here. Yeah, it's all about 
getting my comrades to escape. Oh boy. Your shit's all over the place. Yeah. Okay. What is this called? Strikers Island? Yeah. So it's like Rikers Island? Yeah. In New York? Okay, I got one in the right spot. Boy, this is uh, just scintillating stuff to stream, isn't it? <laughs> Watch me solve a puzzle. My kid's getting addicted to um, uh, to a Rubik's cube right now. Oh yeah. Yeah, and she's. Oh, you got you got it at the top. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Gotta get, the, gotta get those ones to the bottom. Yeah. Flip those over. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, it's gonna get good it's now. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. G game on, everybody. Okay, yeah. we're in. Woo! That game on. That, that really was like a. That uh, was riveting, Vic. That, that really was like a. Car. Car. <laughs> <laughs> okay, game on, game on. That was totally one of those moments. Was that Wayne's World that did that? Uh, car, car. Wasn't that Dumb and Dumber? I don't know. Uh, they're play, like they're playing uh, floor hockey or something like that. Street hockey. Car, car. Okay, here we go. All right, progress. Yeah, what are you trying to do right now? Like just get all my my uh, buddies out of the prison. This one's this one's a big one. Okay. All right, so we got to go over there. Okay, here we go. Uh, how did Luther get over there so quickly? Because he's right. Lex Luther. All right, and now we go to here. Oh, come back here and. All right, maybe there's something up here. Let's see what's up here. Vic, uh, ah, here we go. Game Freak is asking: With all the games you play for work, are there any games that you just play for fun? Yeah, Spider-Man right now. Yep, I keep going back to it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I love games like Robotron where I can just play that eternally and I can just jump right back into that for sure. That's a good question. Um, I, I've played the Uncharted games over and over again, the Arkham games over and over again. Okay, here we go. We got Superman. I chop the vegetables now. Good for you. Now get back in your cell. I think not, Superman. I believe you've met. Metallo. Who's this guy? That's Brainiac. Unstable for you. It's either Brainiac or Metallo. It's weird to me that Lex Luthor and this and Brainiac or whoever it is look so similar in this. They look what? Because they have this. They're both green, so they yeah. have the same color palette. Well, green is a villain color. Green and purple. Yeah, but they're Lego figures, so they should. I don't know. I don't know how you make it more distinct, but. I can't really hear the VO. I hear the music. The cast is huge on this, and Mark Hamill plays the Joker, yeah. and Kevin Conroy plays uh, Batman. Who's Superman? Uh, I Henry, think it's Henry probably Cavill? Tim Daly. No, it's not Henry Cavill. Is it is it Metallo, Jordan Cunningham? So who was the, the, the cop lady? Because that's Harley Quinn there. I don't know, maybe it's um, Catwoman? Oh look, the Joker's got his henchmen. <laughs> who, Game who? Freak says, these games are fun to play with his kid, or her kid, but can't play them by alone. Can't play them alone. Who would ever want to be the Joker's henchman? Mm. You know? Not a long guess, life expectancy. Crazy people, I guess. Oh look, Batman <laughs> didn't shave. <laughs> Is this the first time Kevin Conroy has voiced a Lego Batman? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Two with one shot. Not bad. This is so great. Is that the Green Lantern just now? Yeah. Oh, there he is. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> he he bonked the uh, the Batwing. <laughs> oh, look, it's Batman in the current DC Comics costume, which is pretty cool. That's great. So now, 
We're in Gotham City. Okay. Well, um, calling it a that, day. That's it. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I you know these games. If you're a they fan like forever. I am, yeah, you'll keep playing. They do literally go on and on and on. Uh, you get uh, Gotham, you get Metropolis, and I think there's a, another uh, cool hub world um, that are all massive, and you can go off on side missions and stuff. Um, and you get tons and tons of 170 characters. I'm looking forward to playing this with my kid. There will be a review uh, as soon as we dive further into this adventure. Yeah, hi, but uh, it's super cool. You get to be your own super villain, which is great. The Rot. I'm a guy, Vic. Game Freak 84 says, okay, you guys rock. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are not going to be doing EP Live tomorrow. It'll be a rundown tomorrow. Um, we've got to do a little bit of uh, other work and prepping for things. Um, but uh, EP Live will return soon, and you know we'll have new content for you guys tomorrow. So please come back and watch that. Get caught up on all the stuff that you've missed as well. Hit subscribe. Hit that little bell if you dig our stuff. Don't forget there's a uh, join button you can uh, press to become an EPN member, which we love. And you can also uh, check out some of the merch that we've got at epn.tv merch. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have yourselves a great evening and play forever.